Hello and welcome to my podcast, ah, your Total Glow, your podcast for your body, mind and soul to support, guide and empower you to uncover your most glowing, healthiest and feel good version of you. I am super excited that you are here because if you ask me, there's nothing that looks and feels better. In today's episode, I'm speaking with the totally brilliant and absolutely amazing Dr. Yak Vama. Dr. Yang is a skin microbiome expert, the co-founder and CEO of Phyla, which is the world's most advanced probiotic acne system. In this very beautiful and empowering interview, Dr. Yang shares with us what the microbiome reveals about acne. He talks about the different skin microbiomes all over our body. Of course, he speaks about probiotics and what causes acne truly. This interview is rich in wisdom and I absolutely love how Dr. Yak makes science seem simple. He loves educating and misbusting and I absolutely adore how he sees everything from a very holistic level. Dr. Yak is amazing and this is a must listen for you if you want to understand more about your microbiome and have a healthier, more glowing skin. Please enjoy. Here is the amazing Dr. Yak Vama. Hello and welcome, Dr. Jörg. I am very excited to have you here today and to dive into an empowered conversation with you about acne, the microbiome, and yeah, what can we do to have a healthier, more glowing skin? Thank you so much for having me, Ruth. I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Maybe to start off, could you introduce yourself to my audience? So it's a big question, but who is Dr. Yak? And why are you so passionate about the microbiome and more precisely about acne? Yeah, um, so my background is I'm a scientist. Um, I got my PhD at Johns Hopkins in the US. Uh, and then I did a postdoc at uh, UCSF in San Francisco. Um, I've been studying the microbiome for 13 years now, um, and it's really been a fascinating journey because the microbiome as a field is incredibly young. You know, it's less than 20 years old, uh, but it, as a scientific field, it's really captured the imagination of the public um, where, you know, uh, um, unlike most other scientific disciplines, a lot of the public is up to date on the news about the microbiome, and, and when new news comes out, uh, they really are able to relate to it. And more importantly, they're asking themselves, how can I leverage this um, science for my benefit? Um, and that was really the starting point of my journey away from academia and into starting my company, which was that how can we take these insights and these discoveries that that seem to be so incredible and so insightful? Um, and how do we put that into a product, right? How do we bring it into the real world from just a lab bench so that we can put it in people's hands, make it a part of their lives, and really, in, in the case of acne, change people's lives. Um, and so that was the start of my journey, and it's been it's been a really fascinating one. But you know, the technology that we have in in our in our company, and and I'll talk about what the technology does broadly. Um, it, it's a really interesting technology and a very powerful one. But, you know, specifically applying it to acne was really important because when I started to look into acne, um, and this will be familiar to most of your listeners who've had acne or are struggling with acne, um, you know, acne is a big problem. It affects almost all of us at some point in our lives. It's, I think, 85 or more percent get affected. Um, it is the number one skin concern, um, and it can last for many, many years. And uh, it's not just a skin problem, it's a mental health issue as well, because acne's first 
hits you when you're a teenager, when you're still trying to figure out who you are, you're a little unsure of yourself, you're trying to find, you know, yourself and your friend group. Um, and then this thing comes that's on your face, you know, that you can't hide. And, and you, you see it every time you face the mirror. When people see you, you feel like that's the first thing they see. They first see your acne and then they see you. Um, and, you know, studies have been done formalizing this, saying that uh, you're 63% more likely to have mental health issues if you are uh, an acne patient versus if you have clear skin, which is huge, right? Um, and so, you know, it's more than just a skin issue. And that's why it was such an important uh, place to first start where uh, it was important to make a difference. I couldn't agree more with you. So I speak a little bit of experience because I have two beautiful teenage daughters and one teenage daughter is struggling with acne and has been struggling with acne for a few years now. And I can definitely testify that yeah, it makes those teenage years, which as we know, aren't easy anyway, <laughs> even yeah. harder. And mm -hmm. of course, it's straight on our faces at a time where we are probably not the most self-confident individuals anyway. So mm -hmm. yeah, I love what you're doing and I can't wait to dive deeper into this topic with you however i thought it was really interesting what you said right in the beginning you said that it's been only 20 years i think that the modern scientific world you know has really dived into the microbiome has discovered the microbiome and is now discovering more and more and yes oh my goodness what a fascinating world it is you know that i come from the background of Ayurveda, the ancient wisdom of Adi Ayurveda, which dates back more than 6,000 years ago. And they, in their scripts, spoke about that. They spoke about bacteria that is on us, in us, everywhere. And they pretty much, how do I say this nicely, <laughs> control us they said it in better words <laughs> mm -hmm. but you know it, it's kind of true or for me it's very true that the bacteria make our life good or mm -hmm. if there is an imbalance of not quite the right bacteria they make our life not as good and this is what you are saying as well I just thought it's so fascinating that the latest research is just only catching up with something that ancient wisdom kind of knew forever mm -hmm. any thoughts on that or no i mean that's absolutely right you know these ancient concepts of health being a balance of whether you call them forces or energies or or whatever um, is something that we see play out with very ultra modern techniques in the microbiome as well, right? Um, and so, you know, very kind of um, on, on a very high level, you know, you're healthy, I'm healthy, right? But if you sequenced our microbiomes, they may not look at all alike. Yeah. Um, and uh, what that means is that we are defined by the circumstances of our birth, our culture, the place we grew up, the things we ate and touched and, you know, played with, um, how we um, uh, kind of grew up, um, our relationship with our environment, etc. And so while all of those stamp their imprint on our microbiome, you know, that's the reason our microbiomes are different, um, that it still doesn't mean that if your microbiome is different than mine, you are not necessarily healthy. So what does that mean then? It means that when you're healthy, when I'm healthy, our microbiomes are in balance, right? Um, and when we get a, a, a bacterially caused disease, you know, like acne or eczema on the skin, you know, there are many in the gut and even in the, the mouth, um, then uh, what happens is a bacteria overgrows causes an imbalance in the microbiome. And essentially what that causes is your body, which is very um, cognizant of what's going on on the skin or in the gut, 
it sends out inflammation to try to solve this problem. It senses an imbalance and it sends out inflammation to redress that balance. In the case of acne, that inflammation is pimples, right? So that's what the, the acne is, is being caused by. Now, the root cause of it is, is overgrowth of acne bacteria, right? One type of bacteria causing all this damage. And the way that we uh, address acne today in the modern way is all antibacterial. So whether you look at antibiotics, benzoyl peroxide, or even things like Accutane, they all have an antibacterial component. But they're looking at the overgrowth of one bacteria and they're coming in and they're killing everything, right? I, I liken it to, you know, let's say you go out into your garden one day um, and you see a weed in your lawn. Um, you know, you, you kind of have different options. One option is to set, you know, pour petrol all over it and set it on fire to get rid of that weed, which no one would do. Um, and the other is you just pluck out that weed and uh, you replace it with some grass or, or a, a plant or some dirt and you're done. Um, so in, we're setting fire to our microbiomes when we're using these harsh products. And what instead we should be doing, which is what Phyla does, is just remove the, the overgrowth of the unwanted bacteria, redress the balance and fix your microbiome and thus fix acne from the root cause. I love it. It's so it sounds so simple when you say it, and it could be, yet we have made it really complicated. And the for me, I feel the problem is like all these other treatments like Accutane, they actually give girls or boys or whoever is taking them a better skin. So it appears that, oh yeah, it has solved the issue. Yet you don't, or they don't know what's going on inside of them, their microbiome and what are the repercussions later on. So like for me as a mom, <laughs> It's been really hard to watch my daughter suffering and gently trying to disencourage her from taking these options that all of her girlfriends are taking and they are better than they, they look better. They feel better. Um, I'm just really <laughs> worried. Oh, okay. And what's ahead then? What's coming after this? Because I know what you are saying is completely true and I don't want to send um or to set my daughter's microbiome on fire and destroy you know also all the other good bacteria for me this creates more imbalance um mm -hmm. which is for me the opposite of health so yeah absolutely amazing what you're doing so how can we get hold of your product, tell us more about it. And um, how does it work? How long does it take? Um, why, why doesn't the general public know more about this? What can we do <laughs> to spread the word? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll, I'll start with the first question, which was how does it work? Um, so let me let me take it back to your daughters. You said one of them has acne and one of them has kind of mostly clear skin. I, I want, I'm sure you've wondered, I'm sure they've wondered why, you know, one was kind of blessed with clear skin, one was cursed with acne. Um, well, there was a study in 2016. Comment on that, sorry for interrupting, but they blame it on, you know, one of us, like, obviously they know there's a father, <laughs> there's a mother, and they have asked, so how was your skin when you were a teenager? And my skin was fairly good. So they blame it on the dad. So it's the bad genes from the dad. But <laughs> please help help um, the father to feel better about himself. So tell us what's really going on here. <laughs> yeah, so it turns out that there's an organism that uh, is present on healthy skin that is absent on acne skin. Um, and and we, th there have been systematic studies showing that really this is the only difference from microbiome level between these two types of skin, healthy skin and acne skin. Now these um, uh, organisms are called bacteriophages or phages. Mm -hmm. And phages are tiny microscopic viruses that you know, are ever present in the natural world. They're in seawater, they're in soil, billions of phages are in, in our bodies every single day. 
And uh, the particular phages that are present on healthy skin are the ones that kill and eat the acne bacteria specifically. All right. Now, um, the uh, cool thing about these phages is not only are they very effective at eating the, the bacteria of their choice, but they're also very specific. So these particular bacteria that acne people are missing specifically kill the acne causing bacteria and really nothing else on the microbiome. And that's how we know how good of a connection that is between the root cause, which is this one acne bacteria growing and acne itself. Now, um, why do these organisms exist on acne, uh, on healthy skin and not acne skin? We don't exactly know why. Um, and we have a few sort of ideas that it, it could be certain factors, whether it's the, the skin or the environment or the particular microbiome that makes it inhospitable. But essentially, um, the, the solution, the really elegant solution is, what if we can take this organism that is present naturally in healthy skin, um, put it in a bottle and make it available to everyone so that they can put it on their face, naturally balance their microbiome, get to the root cause without causing any kind of damage no redness, no irritation, no inflammation, um, and really be on a path to clear skin for life. Because once you've got your microbiome balanced and you keep it balanced, you really don't have to worry about you know the acne coming back. So that's the technology. That again, but I just want to point out, and the most important thing here, all of this without harmful side effects, because without exactly. now pinpointing any of the other things, but there are really harmful side effects. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I feel this needs to be said, and I'm not sure if everyone knows about those side effects, but they can really be um, very severe and go from, you know, increasing uh, mental health issues up to not being able to have children later in life. So I think this is really something yeah. we need to know about. And what you are proposing here as a solution is completely natural. It's just rebalancing. So there are no harmful side effects. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, causing birth defects, causing liver damage, causing joint inflammation and, and yeah. brittle bones. You know, these are some of the side effects of, of some of the most powerful acne medication. Um, and, and it, you know, a lot of people think that it's a bit too far to take such serious medication, such serious risks to get rid of an, you know, apparently kind of surface condition. But I would point out that this is this indicates the motivation that acne sufferers have yeah. to get rid of their issues, right? And they say, look, it's worth taking these health risks to get yeah. rid of my acne because that is what, that is how powerfully I feel about it. So um, we are, you know, going, going back to our technology, um, our, uh, the reason no one's heard about it is um, the, dis the scientific discovery was made about 10 years ago. Uh, we, we've been working on it for about eight years or so. And a lot of that time was spent in the lab because what we've done is we've taken an organism, a live organism that lives on your skin, and we've had to work very hard to stabilize it, make sure that it, you know, stays alive when it hits your skin, yeah. um, and really formulate it in a stable way to deliver it to the right place in your skin. So it, it took a lot of science. Uh, it was funded by the NIH, which is, you know, a huge uh, medical um, fin um, sort of funding institution in the U.S. And uh, as a result, we've been able to bring this you know, technology and these insights out of the lab and into the real world. So currently we, we sell in uh, the U.S. and Canada. Um, and, you know, we're working really hard to make this available worldwide because we get a lot of requests from people uh, all over the world saying, hey, this is cool technology, but no one's doing it here. Um, and you're the only ones that I've heard of. So so I would like to. Um, in terms of when you can see the results, um, we did a clinical trial and we have the results of the clinical on our website summarized. Um, what we found is that uh, for most people, the um, uh, taking it twice a day for 60 days results in the most consistent results, right? 
Uh, some people see really fast results. Some people may see, you know, week nine, week 10, meaning just a little after uh, 60 days. Um, but and, and of course, what this reflects is that, like I said at the beginning, everyone's microbiome is different, right? And uh, because everyone's microbiome is set at different levels, the degree to which their microbiome is imbalanced would be different. The degree to which the work to be done to bring that into balance is different, right? Um, and so we've made it very frictionless where we don't require the, our customers to take a test and then wait for six weeks and you know then we give them something personalized etc this is really something that is so that works so well that you just buy the bottle you just apply it you just put it make it a part of your life and it'll work for you oh sounds absolutely okay. amazing um what can i do to help bring this product um, soon closer to my daughter and into different parts of our beautiful world. Is there anything um, I can do other than spread the word? Because I am truly blown away by all of this research and by all of this work. And yeah, I think it's fabulous. It makes absolute sense to me that, of course, everyone will react a little bit differently to it in terms of how long it takes to clear the acne. Um, and also, in my um, experience, there will always be first a relief and then mm -hmm. <laughs> the microbiome or the bacteria that <laughs> really, you know, are not so healthy will kind of fight for their, for their spots and will try mm -hmm. to, um, yeah, not be win or won over by these other bacteria, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, is there anything I can do so that we can um, help other people in other places of the world other than the US and Canada to get hold of your amazing product? Yeah, I mean, um, it, it, by the way, you were exactly right about the way that it works on the skin and that, you know, bacteria don't want to give up their resources and the place where they live. And so it does take time. It often takes time. Um, in terms of, you know, spreading the word, look, this is all new science, right? I mean, people have heard of Accutane for 40 years. They've heard of antibiotics and benzoyl peroxide for even longer. Uh, and now things like antibiotics are, are actually becoming completely obsolete because acne bacteria have gotten so resistant to them yeah. that we're not even sure that if we prescribe antibiotics for acne, that it does any good to most people, right? Um, and so right now, we're really kind of on a mission to um, spread the word on this technology. You know, we want to make this so widely known that people who haven't had an option before, right, who've said, okay, I've got acne, all of my options are damaging to my skin, right? So I'm going to pick either the least damaging one or the most effective one, you know, depending on, on what I'm looking for. We want that to stop. We want them to be aware of this, this other option, right? Which says, hey, um, stop damaging your skin. Stop drying out your skin. Stop getting, you know, chronic inflammation. Um, you have a way to clear your acne by hitting it at the root cause. And because it doesn't cause any collateral damage, you're going to thank your skin, not just now, but 10 years, 15 years later, where you're not going to wonder why your skin is, you know, lacking color and and etc because of the damage you did to it early in life so um I, I find that a lot of parents um who you know who would have gone through their acne journey when they were younger right and know that oh i tried these products they were awful they maybe didn't even work and they caused all these side effects when they look around for their for acne solutions for their kids they're so disappointed that nothing has changed, that yeah. the only options that they had when they were young are the only options that they have to present to their kids. Um, and so, you know, talking to them is really powerful. In fact, just this afternoon, I, I, I sent off a reply to one of our newest customers who was saying, my, my daughter's tried everything, you know, her last option is Accutane, but I really, really, really don't want her to. And I said, look, I feel you, you're one of many of our customers who say the exact same thing to us. And uh, I'm grateful that you found us, but we shouldn't be so hard to find. 
So um, I, th that's the reason why I come on podcasts like these with, you know, informed, educated uh, uh, people like you with, with really informed audiences, right, that are looking for the right tool for the problem, not just something that kills all the bacteria on your face, and then you're left holding the bag and cleaning up the mess that, that it creates on your skin. And it's a nourishing tool. It's really rebalancing all of you, all of who you are. I'm also thinking, you know, if there is an imbalance in the microbiome on the skin, this would probably also mean that there are imbalances somewhere else. Um, so that there might you might be more prone to. I don't know, um, maybe anxiety or other things. So this is now mm -hmm. a theory I'm having, but to me, it makes very much sense. And from all the clients that I'm seeing, if there's imbalance in the microbiome, it's not always one thing that shows up maybe on the skin, um, but there are always more symptoms linked to this. So I absolutely love what you're saying. Again, I'm such a big fan. I'm super grateful that you were so, um, yeah, that you never gave up and were so fascinated by it that you just kept going and now have this amazing product. I just feel, yes, as, as well as you said, it shouldn't be so hard to find. And also it should be available to everyone. I feel it's our birthright to be or to uncover, to help us to uncover the best versions of who we truly are, who we were always meant to be and not, you know, not feel good because of our skin or other things um, that are happening to us. So thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. Um, could you maybe let us know for my US and Canadian audience, so where exactly can we find you? How can we get hold of your amazing product? Yeah, so the brand is Phyla, P-H-Y-L-A, um, and we are online at phylabiotics.com. Um, we, you know, you can buy our products there and uh, you can also learn more about the science and our clinicals um, and how the product works. Um, we encourage you to go there if you have acne, if you know someone who has acne, if your kid has acne and you want to, you know, learn more about the technology and make an informed choice. Um, we're also in uh, social media on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. Uh, we are at Phyla Biotics. Uh, and um, yeah, that's uh, probably, you know, those are the best tools that you can have to inform yourself about the latest in acne technology and specifically microbiome technology. Right, fantastic. And I will make sure I put all of these into the show notes. So is there anything you suggest for those of us who can't get hold of your amazing product um, that we could do to maybe just help a little or are there any things that you have found along your researching ways that will maybe yeah make things a little bit better what is your thought on probiotic creams or in general probiotics and yeah please um i would love your opinion here your wisdom <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I, I think probiotics for the gut have been researched for a really long time. And, you know, we have a lot of evidence-based um, kind of usage of probiotics as well that we know that probiotics do these good things in the gut. Um, the science is a lot younger for probiotics on the skin. Um, and fundamentally, what, what I find disappointing as a scientist is that we treat the skin uh, microbiome kind of like the gut microbiome and a lot of probiotic skin products are formulated with gut bacteria probiotics right now they're completely different um, if you think of your um, you know gut bacteria or your gut as kind of a steamy jungle right like a, a, a rainforest as it were your skin is more like a desert right 
Um, and so it's like taking a cactus and putting it in the in the rainforest and then wondering why that cactus doesn't grow. Uh, it, if you put gut bacteria probiotics on your skin, you know, don't be surprised that it doesn't make any difference. Uh, the other part problem is that most probiotic skin products are actually not, they don't have any live bacteria. Uh, and the way that you can tell is if you look at the ingredient list and if it, if the probiotic ingredient says extract or ferment or lysate, that means that, you know, those aren't live bacteria. So, uh, you know, that's kind of the caution or the caveat that I put out there for probiotic skincare. Uh, because as, you know, as a scientist and a science educator, uh, I want to make sure that the word microbiome and the word probiotic skincare actually means something uh, because the the biggest disservice we could do the, to the community now is as um, whatever, whatever you call it, brand owners or educators, we misuse or just marketify a, a term that, that really has a lot of scientific value. Um, so I have one do and one don't and maybe one cheeky suggestion. Uh, the do is to um, maybe use less skincare products. There was um, there was a study out of Australia several years ago that said that the average woman puts on about 500 skincare ingredients on her skin every day, every day, right? I'm going to go out on a limb and say, maybe your skin doesn't need every single one of those 500 ingredients. Um, and um, when you think of it in that term or in that way, um, you realize that your skin is really bearing a huge burden, right? Yeah. Uh, 500 ingredients every single day. You know, you may wash it off at the end of the night, but then right the next morning, it's, it's back on. Yeah. Um, and so relieving that burden and maybe becoming a little more minimalist um, might help with just your overall skin. And and then again, you know, doing that over a longer term because it may take a little time for your skin to recover. And that's just a suggestion, right? Everyone's mileage varies. And some people may say, hey, I don't put on any product, I have acne. You're right. I mean, in that case, it wouldn't help. The don't is uh, don't dry out your skin. A lot of people think that acne is, you know, solved by drying out your skin. Um, and they're not wrong because the skin produces a natural oil called sebum. And that sebum is the main food source for our acne bacteria. And that's why when we get stressed and we sweat a lot, we get acne. When we get nervous, you know, when, when we have hormonal fluctuations, that causes an increase in sebum. Um, genetically, obviously some people sweat more and have more acne than others. And then with food, you know, some trigger foods for some people cause an increase in sebum production. And that's what triggers their acne. But the the sebum is not the problem. The acne, the, the bacterial overgrowth is the problem. And in drying out your skin, you're actually damaging your skin because that natural oil is no longer hydrating and creating a moisture barrier for your cells. It's going to cause accelerated aging and causing fine lines and wrinkles. So it's really important not to dry out your skin. Um, and the cheeky thing that I will say is, it is literally cheeky, because, um, like I said, you know, people with healthy skin have these phages on their skin and people with acne skin don't. Um, and so if you have acne, maybe go rub your face against someone <laughs> who has healthy skin. And, um, uh, you know, I don't want your daughters to start the fighting with each other, but, you know, I know we're only present in the U.S. and Canada. So for your international visit uh, uh, listeners, until we get to your country, um, maybe, maybe you can try that as a last resort. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. Very empowering do's, don'ts, and a cheeky suggestion here that I truly appreciate um, from everything that I have learned over the years about the microbiome. All of what you've said makes so much sense. I love how you explained everything in really simple, easy terms. And yeah, absolutely amazing. You are amazing. Your work is amazing. And I'm really grateful for you because I do agree. I think 
you know, having acne, having something so red on your face every day. And then I guess most people put a lot of makeup on it, which I think makes it even worse. It's, it's really no fun to say the least. And mm -hmm. with mental health rates, um, you know, like we see that mental health really was on a huge decline in the last few years. So I don't think having acne or anything like this helps. So I am truly, truly grateful. What are your thoughts on putting makeup on, you know, on the spots? Um, have you got any advice? What would be maybe a better way? You already mentioned don't put so many um, products on your face but how can we hide it or is there anything any thoughts that you have um you know i feel like makeup is a very personal thing and um you know speaking of kind of the, the psychology of skincare a lot of women put on makeup and feel like oh it's my armor i and i i go out into the world with with this on and it makes me feel confident it makes me feel better um, so I'm I'm certainly not going to say if you wear makeup and if you like it and if it's a part of your daily routine, um, if it makes you feel good, then you shouldn't do that. Um, because really, you know, makeup isn't the problem. Um, the fact that, you know, makeup stays on your skin all day and that if you have breakouts underneath it, it may inflame your skin. I mean, I, I think I, it doesn't need to be said. I'm sure everyone who's listening knows and understands that. Um, if you can, you know, obviously you can give your skin a break, especially on weekends, et cetera, when you don't go with makeup on. Um, but again, like I said, makeup really isn't the core problem here. Um, so I would say, you know, if you can kind of have your skin go without makeup, uh, then do so if you have breakouts and, you know, I, I, it will help your skin to kind of reach an, a, a better equilibrium and, and it may reach an equilibrium faster or it may reach an equilibrium um, better over time. Um, and, you know, the real core, I think, is to look after your skin microbiome, to not dry out your skin and, and, and keep it moisturized. Um, those are, I think, really the key takeaways, especially like specifically when it pertains to acne. Beautiful. And to understand truly that we have different microbiomes, that the skin microbiome needs something very different than our gut microbiome, which should be so clear <laughs> because <laughs> otherwise, I guess, um, yeah, it, it would not be outside it would be inside i i don't know i mean the mother nature our bodies uh, don't make any mistakes um mm -hmm. yeah so it should be very straightforward but um it definitely was a light but going on when you said that of course duh <laughs> um but i didn't i hadn't hadn't thought of it that way so yeah very very helpful so one last question i know your time is very precious what do you do to stay balanced and happy and healthy? Because I'm pretty sure you are super busy with all of the amazing work that you do. So have you got something that you do on a daily basis to make sure that you yourself, yeah, keep glowing? Um, yeah, I mean, I always make it a point to get exercise in and I have two boys so that keeps me very busy and active just you know getting them out the door getting them to places on time so I don't have a lot of time but I try to make sure that uh, you know exercise is a part of my daily routine it also helps me keep like a great mental health balance because it has so many benefits beyond just the exercise piece um, and uh, yeah I, I also have a dog so I make sure to get kind of a lot of time with her. I take her on walks and I try to be out in nature. Uh, I'm very lucky to live in a city where we have parks nearby and I try to do that, you know, at least once a day. And it helps me like clear my mind up. It's a change of scene. Um, and yeah, I'd recommend it to anyone. Beautiful. I really love your holistic way of thinking, of living, and your holistic way of really solving this whole acne mystery for us. Thank you so much. So usually at the end of my podcast, I ask my 
um, interviewee for three gold nuggets, but I truly feel that you have given us three gold nuggets just before. So I'm going to just ask, is there anything else that you would like to say that we haven't touched upon? Um, I think we touched on really every aspect of, you know, skin health in general and acne in particular. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that, uh, you know, obviously you come in with, with a huge amount of knowledge in this area. Um, and I'm sure your audience is also very well educated on, you know, various aspects of the microbiome, probiotic, kind of holistic health. Um, and so I'm just really happy to be in this space, working and collaborating with people like yourself uh, and your audience who are, you know, actively managing their health, actively making sure that they are paying conscious attention to their well-being. Um, and I, I hope I can be a small part of that. Mm, oh, you are a huge part of it. And yay, let's bring your amazing technology to Australia and to Europe. Please, <laughs> I'm a, I am truly grateful for what you do. I'm a huge fan. So thank you so much for your time today, for your wisdom, for everything that you shared. You are amazing. You help us to make our world a healthier, happier, and definitely more glowing place. Thank you. Thanks, Ruth. My absolute pleasure. Take care. If you love and enjoy my podcast, then please help me to spread the wisdom that you find in my podcast and share this episode with one other person who you think would greatly benefit from this knowledge. I know that you were born to live your best life, to feel absolutely beautiful in your amazing body, in your brilliant mind and in your boundless soul. So what are you still waiting for? Please make sure you do. I'm your biggest cheerleader. Keep glowing. Much love.